standard or proof can be very important. You're going to be shocked at the number of sc uh, schools that are out there um, that don't have a standard of proof, that there's no presumption of innocence, um, and that it's not exactly clear uh, whether you're, you're going to be um, looking at things from a preponderance of the evidence, clear and convincing evidence. Um, the Department of Education allows both at this point. Uh, in 2011, 2014, um, uh, the Department of Education sent out some letters uh, that pushed schools towards preponderance of the evidence. Um, now that, that guidance has been rescinded, um, and schools can uh, uh, very clearly now use the clear and convincing evidence standard, um, especially since these, these things are, are really quasi-criminal. It's not just educational, they're quasi-criminal. Um, clear and convincing evidence really is, is the better standard to use here. Um, because of the political implications that are at play, especially when you get into sex cases, um, schools are not moving in that direction, at least yet. 